Ladies and gentlemen, so what we should be doing right now is we should be in photo P and obviously remember if you saved your work, you saved as a PSD, you should be to, able to open it and again to open it it's going to be in your downloads. I'm just going to pick up right where I left off yesterday. Now what we were doing is we were creating new layers over here and you can see I've created a layer for the skin, I've created a layer for the gold helmet. If I click on these little eyeball icons over there, I can make my layers appear and disappear. So I can see what I have on one and on the other. Now, you don't have to create different layers to use this program. I think it's much better to do so, and I will recommend that you do so. If you create things on different layers, and then later on you want to change just everything that's on this layer to a different color it becomes a very easy quick motion to do now the one thing that you may be dealing with is that you may be coming back after working on this yesterday and wanting to I guess finish painting or touch something up like for example I didn't quite finish my hand I didn't quite touch up these areas but I no longer have that color exactly uh, I don't want to have to go through here and try to like match something close and, and, and try to get it. I want to get it perfect. So to get a perfect match of the color you were working with. You don't have to do this next part, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to click off of my background. All right. When I click the eyeball on my background, you can see I can make the drawing disappear. And now all I have in front of me are the pure colors. Then I'm going to go to my color picker. And we all know the color picker is down over here. It's the top box. When I click on my color picker, the color picker option comes up. To match this color, you'll notice when I'm mousing over, I can click all over here and click to different colors. I can change the bar. But if I go onto my actual picture, I get a little plus sign. If I click on the color that I want, it will match that color exactly. If I click over here, it's still that color. If I click on the helmet, it'll give me a different color. Now, the reason why... I make my background disappear to do this because it matches it exactly. So even though I might have that color here, if I click right over the top part where I have the color and let's say that little bit of pencil mark, it's going to give me a different shade of that color. So to get the pure color itself, what I would do is I would click off of my background and then click on the picture exactly where I want the color to be. So in this case, I can get back the color I was using the other day. I'll hit OK. I'll make my background appear. I'll make sure I'm on the skin layer. I've got my brush. And again, for anybody who's new to any of these commands, please go back to the previous video, which is posted in our team, and see the basic functions over there. The first video that I posted will go through basically how the paintbrush works, how the eraser tool works, and how our color picker works. So please try to use these things in a logical manner. Again, I'm just doing this right now to kind of give you guys a little bit of some of the extra functions. And what I'd like to do throughout this process is get you good at the painting part and then realize that there are more functions that we can learn and use and more things we can add to this project as we go along. So just try to keep up to pace with me on that. And again, if you're having a tough time with the video or you're unclear or some part of my video is unclear, please just message me. I'll be glad to take that under advisement and go ahead and um, re-record it or try to make it clear, more clarification in it. Um, right now I'm using the eraser tool, which is something that I went over yesterday. The eraser tool is, again, it's there to kind of clean up marks that I kind of left from a day or two ago. Uh, if I make a mistake, like I start erasing in here, Control and Z is always the way I can undo that. I want to make sure I have nice, clean, crisp edges. And again, if you want to match colors, I think I just went over how to match colors. But I will recommend, again, make sure you know what layer you're on and what you're working on at the time. Uh, because we want to try to keep this thing organized. Uh, we don't want to have just lay, you know, colors all over the place on one layer. We also don't want to have um, you know, our layers to be sloppy or messed up. So with that, I think that's the new information that you have in this video. I recommend that you uh, continue to use that and apply it to your work. 
what I would tell you right now for this assignment is that you should be painting your entire hero and as you're working you can always decide to add a new layer for a new color so in this case I think I'm going to go ahead and create a new layer for the top of the helmet I'm going to make this part red so I'm going to go down to my new layer window which is right here in the layers window next to the trash bin which is delete layer you have new layer I'm going to name that new layer I'm going to call this one red uh, for simple purposes I go here my color picker select the color red that I want a nice deep dark red got my brush already I'm going to go ahead and start painting you may notice when I start painting like this you don't really see my pencil marks that's why I have to go to this layer and under the layer option here that says normal switch it to multiply and multiply will have it be a little bit see-through now for those of you who are chopping at the bit who really want to learn how to like shade things in to make some light and dark values and stuff like that I will go over that stuff probably tomorrow what I'd like to do is that's an easy thing to add later on I would like to make sure that you paint your whole character first and then once it's painted we'll go through and we'll um, show you how to do a little bit of the shading to add some light values and touches you can always mess around with the paintbrush itself and do some of that uh, but let me give me a day at least to try to teach you guys how to do it the right way and then after that you can kind of go wild with adding color so that's going to be my red I grab my eraser tool clean okay. up edges I've decided I want to match the gold that I have up here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the gold area I'm gonna minus this out get my color picker click right on the helmet got my matching color and then I'll go back to my gold layer and control plus control minus to zoom in and continue painting from there. All right guys and that'll be it for today's demo again I hope you guys are there working and being productive please if you are not working on your actual hero at this point drop everything else that you are working on and please work on that uh, we want to get get things going and keep things moving.